Nigeria with all my strength to defend our unity. Touch down, carry everything, save it. You will get the wig you want when that time comes. Yeah. You will get the shoes you want when that time comes. I was telling you guys on Facebook that I used to borrow here. I used to. All this thing that you guys say, Oh, my okay. You did not catch him. There are some people that imagine I not catch Yes. So, by that time, I will make do photo shoot. My brother remembers. I was very consistent on Facebook. I started with ready to wear. If you know me very well, you know I started with ready to wear. See, you see the back. The zip is not okay. I will use paint to hold it. Snap the front for me. And then I will post it. One customer orders for it. I will take calico fabric, do a practice of that person's style. Go to where they are, fit them. If it is okay, that same calico, I will lose it out and make that thing for them. That was how I practiced my mistake and make sure my mistake was a beautiful story. So now, when all these customers keep coming to you, your own is to be saving. I'm very bad when it comes to saving. I will advise you, try and save. I did not know that my business money is not my money until I employed an accountant. So my business is paying me salary, if you don't know. I'm collecting salary, that's what I'm looking for. Brilliant, they pay ready to wear. Anything brilliant, they were brilliant, and they collected it from me. So if you think that, oh, when I have money, I'm going to buy this. See, once that business has a very big structure, it's no longer your money, you have to go and look for your money. So I think this will help you. You have to save and then look for customers. When you post on your social media platform, post on your status, on your WhatsApp status, tell all your contact list to repost for you. my life for good. Imagine that I was scared that, scared that, ah, what if I lose this money? What will happen? How will I start? Okay? I was too confident that even if I lost all the money, I will make the money back. That's what confidence does for you. Many of us will not really succeed. To be honest, you don't want to put in the work. You think faith will do all the work. Faith without works is dead. You will walk. And if you know, you know that the only way is to ask people, offer something. Let them know you are serious. Can I do this for you and you give me this? Something that you know it makes sense to them. Maybe, okay, you're a fashion designer. Before you go and ask the woman, another woman for money. Tell that, okay, can I, instead of that money will pay for one dress, can I make you two or three dresses? People will not lend you money. There's no way. You want to lend 100K for somebody who knows that on a normal day, that's what Drake will get her one or two dresses. My question is, do you leave that section and just focus on the one that you're doing currently? Okay, hold on. So, because when you started, oh poor. Do you understand? We're no longer in that age. You can see it. You've seen it in the lives of so many people who have made it through social media. Social media has changed the lives of so many. The other day, I don't know if it was Obi Kubana that posted a video and he was saying that this is a generation where the poor is now the rich and the rich is now the poor. Don't be lying. Because growing up, I know people who were richer. Who were very, what is richer? I'm saying richer, I think we were rich. <laughs> we know people who were rich that I was just looking at them like, I say, oh God, why? She just needed that inspiration. You see, I love extra women this one i go so out for you i know there's some corsetto like vicky james but you go all your body before you know you know how many of that clothes i don't sell i didn't even have to repost it they just see that this person is so confident and it makes your customers to feel like the passion you have for this thing is what is making you act like this you will do my clothes well you know you will handle my business well do you understand what i'm saying so find someone that would inspire you from time to time. Okay, another thing you can do is find your personal style and dress the parts. So another way that you can be confident or be like someone that is confident is actually for fashion, design, fashion designing. You have a scholarship thing. Yeah. Okay, so you have a scholarship thing.
But the school is in Lagos, so you have to go there. Okay. So if you if, 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 if the scholarship, I will pay for the accommodation. I will pay for the flight to come to Lagos. that you first of all have to define what you want from the space. If you don't have a definition, you run around circles and there's no head, there's no head. What, and what you have to deliver. So if I'm bringing a job to you, first I can give you a first try out because I like to try it up for anybody that's not coming. If I look at your work, I can engage you. But then, if I see the finishing of your work the first time, I'm very good at correcting. I'm very good at building people. I'm not going to give up on anybody. I correct you once, I correct you twice. If you still don't give me, because it depends on your clients, my clients are 100% value for their money. They pay so well that I will not put one each corner for any of their work. So if you want to work with a stylist, pitch your pitch. You have to pitch because a stylist cannot just know you, right? Because you're not big yet. So that's why I said in my teaching, send a DM. But when they are sending that DM, do you have nice outfits on your page? That if you are to send me a message, say, oh, I'm a designer, and this, 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 you pitch. I want to check from the outside. Oh, okay, you have the best thing. Let's see. I'll tell my team. There's this place. I want you to know that there is nothing you will start under this planet that somebody else is not already doing. So you see that idea that you want to give yourself, I want to think the one way nobody will do. Somebody is doing it. Now the thing that makes you different from somebody that is already doing it is your niche. That is the specialty and the personality of yourself that you bring into that thing. From your house. That's why that business may have to start from you selling to your schoolmates, to your dormitory mates, to your hostel mates, so that you can understand the market. If you put in 50,000 Naira in a business you've not sampled, you will pay the price of 40,000 Naira for it. If you put 50 million, you will pay the price of 40 million. Because no matter how perfect the business idea is, you are going to learn in some hard way, in some practical way. So you need to find a hungry and starving market. So ask yourself now, have I found my starving market? Have I found my hungry market? Let's move on very quickly because of time and the lack of it. I said it's not capital. I said it's not passion. I said it's not location. The problem we have for those who don't live in major cities like Lagos and Abuja and Port Harcourt is like, we all feel once I relocate to Lagos, I'm going to make it. Once I move now to Kano, I'm going to make it. Oh, if only I drop out to UK or to New York, I'm going to make it. I have good news and bad news for you. If you move the way you are without finding that market, you are still going to struggle. Because people are making it in Uyo. People are making it in Ikodekwene. People are making it in Eket. People are making it in Newi. People are making it in Abakliki. People are making it in different towns in the South South, in the South East, in the South West. There is someone making it greatly in Meidugri. So the location is important, but it is not the most important factor. Once you found your market, everything comes into that because the market determines the business name should stay with you even if you have started business already you should go back and judge yourselves and adjudge your businesses by some of these factors and begin to see where you have missed the target where you can adjust where you can begin to do things and i'm sure that at the end of this particular conference and this master class your business will not stay at the same level because i see the passion that you have put in 
You've stood in here for hours to get accredited, to move into this hall. I know that the hunger is there. I know that the passion is there. I know that the push is there. I know that the, 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 the enthusiasm and the zest for you to move your business, to learn, to grow, to scale is there. The passion is not in question, but the knowledge must be in place. The action must be timeously taken. The action must be well taken. And by the time we bring all these factors and all these principles into place, let me be the first to tell you congratulations on your new level. All of you here are very smart people. You are very smart people. You just heard of this opportunity and you jumped right into it because maybe it is not about Prudent or myself or any of the speakers. Maybe it is about the people who are seated here. And I can tell you the people who are going to move the fashion game in South, South, South East, South West Nigeria. If the person is not in this room, the person will need a miracle to get in. It is conferences like this we use to judge the people who are going to be the next global stars. The next stars already know themselves. What does the person know about customer relationships? For them, once you move away from your shop, they say, oh, guy, if you know, buy, if you like, buy, if you don't like, leave the, this thing. They are not the ones suffering the price of wealth. They are not the ones who pay staff salary. They are not the ones who pay rent. So they, are, they can afford to behave anyhow to customers. So you must know the kind of people you acquire and the assets that they have. And then whether all they have aligns with your own business values, that's why you must have your values written out. Your values and your visions and your passions must be written out. As a man of faith, I believe in Habakkuk that says write the vision. Anything that is not written cannot be possibly achieved. Like now, I'll ask you, what is your plan for your business for December 2024? Does anybody in this room have anything written? written? for December 2024. Yeah. Do you have something written? Yeah. Those who have things written, please wave. It's easy to wave. If it were a smaller class, I would have asked for it. I would have asked for it. Where is it written? Where is it written? What is the plan? What is I will keep eating it one after the other. Some of the things we will teach is how to charge a customer. Yeah, you know, it's customer of us. Because we are good, but we still charge 50K, 30K, 40K. I know that, right? Many of us will charge 50k, 60k. It's a struggle. But, but there's, a, there's a system. There's a way we run it that you're able to charge at least you, you start with 300, 500. I should tell you here. <laughs> 700. But then you have been making the same dress and you have been charging 50k. Now you're not making the same dress and you're not charging 500k. <laughs> That's just it. So there are systems. Are we here? Yeah, there are systems towards it. I hope that we'll be able to have this again. And I will be intentional about some things, you know, that I know that we really need. I would love, I would love to stop here so that she comes up and then you can have social media handle. You will see content, value, value. I've had, I've had a parent who has brought up to 10, 10 parents, only one. Someone who would not to pay at all. But I pushed value, we pushed, pushed, pushed value so much. She went to look for money, told the husband, convinced, paid. Then she started getting people to come and pay. All right, and I've had one who couldn't pay left, but she had got at least up to three. She couldn't pay, she's still not part, but because of the value she has gotten, she keeps pushing it. Please, this person, you can come there. Me, I can't pay, but I'm sure you can afford it. Just go there. So, don't let clients come and then you tell them price and then they go. You must, it's part of the branding. You must ensure that you do that. Lastly, all that you do, try to brand. Just put your logo on everything that you push out. The difference between, let me tell you what's made you. How? Now grow this fast at the end of the day. It was really, really. God factor is there, of course. This one, God does that. She can't do it without God. You see, it's branding. It's branding that will make her charge a customer 3.5 million. You can probably make something close. Some of you have attended PFA, few of you here. You have seen the kind of dresses you make. But then you cannot charge same. You There's a lot you need to do. There's a lot that she needs to tell you that she's doing. Do you agree with me? Yeah. Some of us can make very, very different dresses. I know what I'm saying. I've seen dresses. But there's, she needs to just tell you some things. And she's very open to saying all those things. She's always ready. Let me just keep pushing out all the information. Just keep, you know, just keep imbibing, keep applying, keep applying. I, I, I'm not sure if it's everywhere, but I know in Lagos State, renting will start now per month. You just rent per month, you pay one month. One thing about renting that you need to know is that when you rent, Lalo can kick you out after one year. You pay two years, they kick you out. But there's something about leasing also. Leasing gives you that space.
to leave space first and then try to grow. So I don't tell people, don't rent if you know you want to do one year, two years. After one year, you start struggling for to pay the next rent. It's a starting business. If I were you, I would find a way to just do a lease, do a five-year lease, seven-year lease, and focus on the business. In fact, one of the businesses, I'm actually on the lease too. But then, I know that before five years, then start looking for where to move to, either a new land to move to, or a new place. But at least I have that time, enough time, to work, look for money, and do what I have to do. So let me give you good advice. Do not rent one year, rent two years. If you know you want to get a place to really run where you have enough time. Let me tell you, leasing does not mean that you pay the whole money from the beginning, in case that's your fear. Leasing means that if you are leasing for five to seven years, get a good lawyer, like my friend said too. Get a good lawyer. Pay for three years out of five, seven years, or you pay for two years but you're leasing for seven years. The advantage is that landlord cannot kick you out within that seven years. But renting, they can kick you out after two years, after one year. But because it is legal and you have leased for seven years, and then of course, you follow up in the agreement, you can be there for seven years, they won't kick you out. And again, you can pay by installment. You don't have to pay the whole seven years. For a start, you pay two years. Tell them that after three years, I'll give you another three years. But you are sure that within seven years, landlord, there's no way it was a rent landlord wouldn't increase the rent within seven years it's not possible 10 years no but because it's a lease they have to wait for you to complete your seven years or your 10 years do you agree with me yes. that just came in okay let us um move on quickly okay what Steam iron will make your work easier. By that time, come will be flat and there will be a result of you snatching the waste. So it is not advisable to give customers but some customers because they hide the atomic in their first time, so they always do it. Where is Jennifer? My being. You know how great to call it. 0.5 inside. 0.5 sorry. This line from here to here is inclusive the measurements. The additional horizontal line that we added.
gets up. I'm going to put her through on every side of our business and ensure that our business does not shake. How much is that? I would like to go for an upgrade. That's what I've been wishing for, and I would like to get an industrial machine. Then I will upgrade myself. Good evening, everyone. My name is Richard Ekpeyo. I'm, I'm a fashion stylist and a costume maker. That's a costume, yeah. So if I'm giving this money, yeah, definitely. I am my brother, Victor Abashi. He's here. He works with the market. As impression or expression. Yeah, so if I'm giving this money, I would use it. We've been planning for this your whole time. I would use it to start up my fashion styling class because I feel that there are lots of people out there who don't know how to put things together. And then they need to they need this avenue to see how to do this thing. So I feel if I should get this money, I will start up that class I have been planning for. Thank you. Select from what they've done. Yes. Option two, should we do a raffle draw? Thank you. 